Today, let's take a deep dive in at the difference between a monofocal lens and a multifocal lens. To first understand the difference between a monofocal and a multifocal lens, let's just talk about vision, specifically your eyesight. Back when you were 18, you could see far away and up close clearly. That's because if you didn't need glasses, far away was clear and you could flex the lens to bring close things into focus. Once you hit age 40, because the lens gets a little bit thicker every single year, you lose the ability to flex the lens. That means far away was clear, but up close, you needed reading glasses. As you continue to age, the lens grows a little bit more yellow with time, so the image quality decreases and has a slight yellow tint to everything. So in my opinion, the ideal vision is that of an 18 year old where everything's clear, far away and up close are also in focus. So that's where the lens discussion begins. With a monofocal lens, you have one focal point. Typically for my patients, I set the clear point to be distance as opposed to near. That means after cataract surgery, far away is clear, up close is blurred without glasses. So that's why these patients need reading glasses to see things up close. In contrast, other patients with the monofocal lens choose a near target for clarity. In that situation, up close things are more clear without glasses and far away is blurry. That means you need prescription glasses for far away to be able to do things like driving. In contrast with a multifocal lens, a multifocal lens has multiple focal points, far away and up close. So that means without glasses, things that are far away and up close are clear. That's why multifocal lenses are kind of like your vision back when you were 18, where you could see far away and up close without glasses. So as you can guess, I'm a huge multifocal lens fan. However, not every patient is a good candidate for the multifocal lens. If you have bad glaucoma, if you have corneal scars, if you have bad macular degeneration, I really don't like using the multifocal lens for these patients. So if you're a candidate for the multifocal lens, definitely consider it. I hope you found the discussion about a monofocal lens and a multifocal lens to be very helpful. Don't forget as always, your eyes tell. We'll see you next time.